Hi, this is Steve. Welcome back to Scale Model Kit Review. In this video, I'll be presenting Agora Models 1 8 Scale 1967 Shelby GT500 Super Snake. Now, this is a fantastic car that Agora Models has come out with. 3D imaged to exact specifications. This model is museum quality. We have opening doors, laid down rear bench seat, front seats fold, the steering works on it, hood opens, trunk opens, engine sound, lights, it's just full of details and it's huge. So in this video I'll show you all of pack one in one full video. With that you can also search my channel because I did split this up into six different sections so each pack, six packs worth of uh, of pack one or six parts packs are split up into six videos so head over there and you can watch them individually if you like with that I'll leave you with probably one of the greatest engineers and drivers in the world of automotive and that's Carol Shelby enjoy drivers who can take the cars right up to the maximum. Welcome back. Here are the parts for Pack 1, Issue 1. This is the front fascia right here. This is the lower grill. We have the right uh, headlight and the left headlight along with the bumper. They gave us some MP01 screws, some MD01 screws, and some MD02. So with that, I'll be right back and we'll start assembling this. Here's a close-up of the parts. Uh, the front fascia is made up of all metal and very nicely painted. Uh, like the stripes, the coloring of the stripes kind of have a blue metallic finish to them. And uh, very nice. Here's the back side of it all our screws and all that go into and then we have our bumper the bumper is plastic very nice chrome plating on it and then we have our two headlight buckets and uh, they do have the holes on the back side of them to install LED lights a little bit later on but they are very nice rep representation of headlights as you can see the lower grill if I can get it picked up is very fine looks like stainless steel photo edge and that should go in very nicely into the front fascia and then we have our screws I'll be right back for stage one we have three steps we must complete the first step is to install the lower grill on the front fascia and we're going to use two MD02 screws so they did give us three MD02 screws with this, uh, we have to screw them in on the back side here, uh, right here and right here. So I don't mar up the paint. I'm going to go ahead and lay down a washcloth. And uh, just like that. There we go. And we'll simply take the grill and lay it down on top here, like that. <clears throat> this time I'm going to go ahead and use some blue Loctite. It's going to act like a lubricant for the screws going into the metal, and it's also going to lock them in a little bit later. And you don't have to put a whole lot in. We'll go ahead and put the screw in on the screwdriver. It is magnetized, as you can see. 
and we'll screw it in. Try to put it in straight. Got one in, and we'll put the next one in here. I actually like how this screwdriver feels, pretty nice. How it rotates in your hand on the top there. And there we go, just like that. Grill looks great, just like that. Let's move on to the next step. Next step will be installing the front bumper, plastic on the metal. There's actually three steps for this. We will be using MP01 screws. Be right back. Alright, so we got the bumper here. We'll go ahead and install that in. And it looks like the notch for the license plate goes on the bottom. Just how it kind of shows a notch for the plate here. It's simply just going to go over the top of it. And then we will install our screws. Now these go into plastic. They're called MP screws. So just two of them get installed in this case. Just going to get them started. Turn this around, get the next one tightened down. And that is tightened down. Turn it over, get a look at the bumper. Looks very nice. Yeah, I'm gonna take and polish this up a little bit here. Get all my fingerprints off of it. Let's move on to the next step. The final step in stage one will install the headlights, and we're going to be using two MD01 screws for that. There's actually three steps to do for this. Now we install the headlights, and they are actually oriented left and right. If you look on the back side here, it actually has an, an L on it, identifying that this goes on the left side, and then the other one has an R on it, identifying it goes on the right side. Left side's driver side, right side, passenger side. So in order to do this, they tell us we have to insert it through the light well, like that. We have to turn it over and then we just line up our screw holes where we want our screws to go. I think I'm going to use a little bit of a I'm going to use a little bit of lip balm to lubricate the metal there since we're screwing in the metal it's going to make it a lot easier to get the screws in put that down on top I can put my MD01 screw in. Just 
just like that and screw it down. Going in pretty easy. Just like that. Looks pretty good. Flip it over. Do the same thing with the other side here. Okay, I'm going to insert this in there from the outside. Turn it over and we'll get it lined up. Oops, fell out. It's okay. Get that screw started. And there it goes, just like that. And we have both headlights in. The grill, the bumper. That completes stage one of pack one build. Welcome back. Here are the parts for stage two. We have the door, which is all metal. And we have mirrors, door handles, and screws. Here's a close-up of the door. It's all metal. Very nice painted finish. And the stripes look fantastic. Turn it over. You can see all our holes for assembling all the components. We get a nice mirror, and that's made of plastic. And we get a door handle, which is also made of plastic. We get MP02 screws and MD05 screws. Let's get started. Stage two, we have two steps. The first step is we install the mirror. We'll use MD05 screws for that. And just as I did before, I will put a washcloth down to protect the surface. And we'll turn this over. We're going to put the mirror in first. The mirror will go up front here. Looks like it inserts in that slot there. Just like that. I'm going to go ahead and, as I did before, I'm going to put a little bit of lubrication in those holes for the screws. Insert the mirror into this. I'm going to be really careful we don't break it. I'm just going to get these started. A little bit there. There we go. All secure. That's how it looks. Now we install the door handle. And that simply just inserts down on that. And it looks like we put 
MPO2 screws in for that. Just requires one screw. And these are very tiny screws, by the way. This is cutting into plastic. And don't want to go too much with it. Perfect. And there you have it. That completes stage two of the left door where we installed the mirror and the door handle. Stay tuned for stage three. Welcome back. Here's stage three parts. This would be the driver's glass and trim along with the door hinge and some MD5 screws along with some MD6 screws. Of course the door trim and glass is made out of plastic. Very nice chrome plated around that edge there. And our door hinge here, this part is made of metal. The black part is plastic. And of course there's our screws. Step three has two steps. And the first step is to install the window and window frame. We'll be using three MD05 screws. And we got our door here. Same as before, I'm going to go ahead and put a washcloth down to protect our finish. I'm going to turn this over along with the window. And it simply lines up with uh, three of the holes there. As you can see, I'm going to put a little bit of lubricant on those to help me out. Just like that. MD05 screws are kind of small. But we will get we'll just get them all started for now. There's one. I lubricated them because they're cutting into metal. I'm going to hold it up a little because I don't want to break the mirror. one. A little more power with my right hand. And one more. Tighten this down. And she is tight. Turn it over and have a look. Looks really nice. Turn it back over because next we will do the door hinge. We have four steps with the door hinge. Put in the metal bracket first. That just slides into the notch right there. Then we'll put the black plastic cover on top. And then we'll put in the screws 
which should be the MD6 screws and we get uh, two of those. It might be just one that we install. Alright, so we have a little tab that sticks out on top here. It sticks out on top. You don't have it on the other side. That's going to go in the up direction, just like that. And that's the way our hinge looks. Then we'll take our plastic bit here. And before I put it in, I'm going to once again put some lubrication on there for the metal screw. It makes it a lot easier. And I think I'll put some lubrication in here too. In the hinge area. That's good. plastic bit down on top. Slides in just like that. And we put our MD6 screw in. Fairly large screw. I want to protect that mirror so we don't break it. And there we go. And you can see it kind of has a snapping finish to it like that when it moves. And there you have it. We have completed stage three. This was a lot of fun. It's looking really good. Here are the parts for stage four. This is the left door trim. So we have the left door inside panel, door handle bracket, upper trim strip, lower trim strip, window crank, door handle, and we got MP1 screws, MP02 screws, MP03, and MD06. So that's MP01. Everything is plastic in this issue. I'll be right back and we'll get this assembled. Step one, we install the left door lower trim. We're going to be using two MP01 screws. So we insert this lower trim right into the holes here on the bottom. Very easy to do. And we're going to be going into plastic to plastic, so we don't have to use any uh, lubrication for this. We're going to use two MP01 screws for that. I'm going to support it just a little bit there. Just want to get them started. And there we go. Got that installed. Want to be careful with your little lock knob on top there. You don't break that off. Next step, we inst we next step we attach the interior door handle. We're going to be using two types of screws with that. We're going to be using two MP02 and one MP03 screw. All right, so we're going to. We're going to deviate from the instructions just a little bit. We're going to put the handle in first, just like this. And we're going to put our screw in. This is an MP03 screw that goes in here. Just so we can keep it secure. We want it to go in straight. The handle's not really tight, and that's going to insert into the door panel, just like that. We're going to put in two MP02 screws.
careful you don't over tighten them. They may strip out. Let me get this lined up so you can see it. And we'll get that last screw in. There we go. There we go. Nice and secure. And you can see our door handle just like that. Our next step we install the window crank handle. This would be step three. We're going to install one MP02 screw. So there is a detent that this goes into. Right there you can kind of see it. Turn it over. MPO2 screw, very small one. Get it started. And there you go. In step four, we install the left door trim into the door. And just like before, I want to protect the paint. I am going to put the door down here. And that just simply slides in there. We got two holes that the screws go into. These are MD06 screws. Put some lubrication in there. Just like that. She is all lined up. And I just want to get these started first. And there we go. It's all secure. And there we go. All secure on there. And lastly, we installed the upper trim panel. We need to be careful that we go under the door handle. Got to kind of bend it a little bit here. And it should snap in place. And there it is, snapped in. And stage four is completed. We put the window crank in, door handle, two trim panels, and the panel on the door itself. Here's step five parts that comprises of the driver's seat back. And I'll take these out and we'll get this assembled. I like the graphics on the back of these placards where the parts come in. Pretty cool. Seat back itself is a hard plastic. The, the front side of the seat back is rubbery, a little softer, and of course we have a very nice chrome plating for the trim. And we get some MP01 screws. There's two steps to this issue. First off we'll insert the uh, chrome insert into the seat back. We're going to use four MP01 screws to hold it in place. 
turn this over. We got the four MPO one screws, and we simply just insert this. like that. Kind of just squeezes in there. It looks like we put a screw in on two screws on top and two screws in on the bottom. And one more. These screws just cut into the plastic pretty good there. And lastly, we take our the front side of our seat back and slide it in. Just like that. And that's what she looks like with the trim around her. Back of the seat back. And that is it. That's all we do with stage five. Stay tuned for stage six. Here are the parts for stage six. This is the last stage that we build for pack one. And it's been a lot of fun. This will be the driver's seat bottom cushion and you can see we already have the chrome trim already installed on it. it came that way along with the rubberized cushion on top of it and then we have the solid black plastic base for the cushion let's get this bad boy assembled this stage only has two steps in step one, we insert the backrest to the seat bottom solid plastic piece. And so we take the seat back and we just insert it into the solid bottom piece just like that. Step two, we take the soft cushion on top, press it down on top, then we will install four MP01 screws. So with that, just like that, these will insert into the holes there. Just like that. And we insert four MP01 screws. Just like that. Get them all started. It's been a lot of fun building this. It's going to make out to be a very nice kit. Highly recommend that if you haven't done so already, already to subscribe to this 
the Gore has also announced the uh, Terminator T-800. Finally we get it in the USA. Super excited about that. And there you have it. Seat back is complete. I'll be right back. And there you have it. That completes all six stages of pack number one from Agora Models. Head over to Agora Models and subscribe to this right now. It's available to USA subscribers and also some subscribers over in, the, over in Europe. So we got the front fascia done, the headlights, bumper, lower grille. We got the left driver's door done. We got the windshield in, the mirror, the door handle, a window crank door handle on the inside, uh, all the interior parts along with the hinge, and lastly we finished up with the driver's seat, and it's a folding seat, has a very nice interior design with it as far as has the, the classic Mustang uh, interior there, and I really enjoyed this. I want to thank Agora Models for providing me with this sample. And hopefully I get the second pack and we'll be able to proceed on. That's totally up to them, but I did enjoy it. So thank you a whole lot to Agora Models for this sample. I think I'm the first uh, USA YouTube channel to uh, highlight this kit here in the U.S. So like I said, it's ready available. It came very quickly. Once, once they said they were sending it, I think I had it within a week or so. So it came very quickly. So with that, I want to thank Agora Models once again. And thank you for watching and subscribing to my channel. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. I could use all the subscribers possible. It helps get my, my videos out there to everybody. With that, happy 2020. Happy modeling, everybody. Take care.